Morning folks. Before we get into this episode of us uh, travelling to Murchison Hill Station, just want to show you something. This is, uh, well, where are we? This is about four weeks after that trip that we did to, to False Entrance. And actually, this morning, we're ready to leave to drive up to Warra Station for another trip. Uh, last night, <clears throat> I was going over the uh, suspension on the camper trailer. I repacked the bearings and did some bits and pieces. And, um, and then I got underneath to grease all the bushes for the suspension and I found a bit of an issue. What we got here is the independent trailing arm, suspension trailing arm for the trailer. That's a camber bolt and that adjusts the wheel alignment uh, for the tyre and I took the tyre off last night I noticed that we got some wear in here and I thought that's not good at all and then come round to this side and look at that the bolt has snapped off snapped it clean off that is moved up and thrown the wheel alignment out so now I need to find probably most likely these new bushes probably a whole set and then that cam bolt because it's snapped off so we're supposed to be driving to Warra station this morning and uh, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen so we'll see anyway that'll be another episode we'll come back to you on that in, uh, enjoy the episode I hope you like it shots but their DJI app won't work so now the drone's grounded until we can get into some service and maybe update it. where the ball would have been. Yeah. Maybe up the back there. Don't know. Pipe there, yeah, that'll be it. Here it is. just me that thinks that wearing a fly net is hell un-Australian is it no Kelly thinks it's un-Australian as well and they're too bad they it up. they're relentless
My trick. The rudder. Look at the rudder. You alright? I won't film this. <laughs> What a find. As we wait on the time together we find it. There's more than one way to go home. Little barbecue area on the river. Happy is man, happy he alone, he who can call today his own, he who secure with him can say, tomorrow do thy worst, for I have lived today. Whoop, I'm a bit close. Oh. Shocking. Yeah. I'm a bit close. What are we bloody fly fishing now? Got him! Got him! Fell hooked him so he'd be fighting a bit. <laughs> Great fight, mate. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, he's grabbed it. Yeah, I haven't um, foul hooked him. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he grabbed that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Little fight with the mullet there, dragging that metal slug through the school, just trying to jag him. And uh, but no, he grabbed it full on, and he gave me a good fun fight. So we'll follow that school. There's nothing else around. Got a brim on the lure trolling, were you? Yep. yep. Coming up to the brim country now. Yep. Yep. Oh. 
sweet. Okay, we're back from fishing. Kelly's cleaning her fish, her brim, which went size, so gonna clean that up. That's good. Sitting back, having a beer, trying to stay away from the flies. Still don't know if I can wear this fly net yet. It's a bit hard to wear. I feel like a bit of an idiot wearing it. But it does keep the flies away. That's pretty good. It's a bit hard. It's a bit hard trying to drink a beer. With it on. Without the flies getting in. But it's better than nothing. Bit of a tour of the campsite. It's got the car parked up there at the moment. We're just getting a bit, bit of solar on the panels. We've got a fridge. Got a fridge in the car that keeps all our drinks. And we've got another panel here that does the trailer. We've got a couple of dual batteries in the trailer there. Shower tent. Which hooks up to the roof back there. And here we've got a King's Hot Water System, um, which uh, we've put a gas bottle to. It's got a little pump comes out to a shower thing here, shower head which seems to work pretty well it's only King stuff, it did actually come with a trailer when we bought it and so did the King's fridge with the um, King's fridge in, that we've got in the car at the moment and they don't seem to be doing too bad actually with all the rough roads and stuff we've been doing uh, they've been, been keeping up so it's been good oh no, there's the King's fridge there that come with a camper trailer when we bought it, didn't it? Yeah, that one did, yeah. And we've got a brass monkey, which has mm. been a bit of a pain in the bum. Yeah. But it doesn't like heat, so. There's a couple of reasons for that. Right hey? It's right yeah, it's alright this trip because it's not very hot. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, we've got a brass monkey fridge in the back of the car here. It just keeps our drinks in. And um, we run that with a solar panel on the roof with a battery box in the back. Solar panel on the roof, which is just um, temporarily installed there. And a uh, battery box in the back here with a solar controller on it, um, which uh, yeah, it does really well. We don't have any problems with it at all. Runs really good. That's the setup in the car. We bought a bag of wood. We're going to have a campfire tonight, hopefully, if it's cold enough. Wouldn't say that it's that cold here, is it? No. No. So, with this place, um, you can camp down on the Murchison River, it's Murchison River Station. So there's campsites all along here. And there's a road track that comes through along there and it branches off to different campsites all along the river. You can come in here, you pay the fees, $12 a person per night. And then it's $50 for four wheel drive access. So $50 for each four wheel drive that comes in. And uh, there's just heaps of spots in this station here that you can camp. It's not too bad actually, it's pretty good. Not too many people here at the moment, it's pretty quiet. So, yeah, great spot. We're on here. <laughs> 